Eureka! I got it! Why Eureka? Because it's a vacuum tube accomplishment. What do you want me to say, Kirby? So, you gonna take it to Shark Tank or what? I'll do what I have to do. So, what's the big deal, D-Lab? What the big deal is, is we have a Clipperton amplifier. And what the Clipperton is, is an amp that uses a 6AL5 as a clipper. A lot of guys have been writing into forums about this, and they're wondering how you can do it. A lot of these guys use diodes. Well, in a tube amp, that doesn't work. But D-Lab has the clipper working. You see this nice sine wave? Can you see it? I can see it. That's good. Let's see if our viewers can see it. So but how does it work? Let me show you. Okay, so here's the clipper. In normal operation, the clipper would be full clockwise, which gives you a perfect sine wave. Okay? Now if you say, oh, I want a little bit of distortion on my amp, you can start bringing back your clipping level. Now watch the sine wave. See there? Start and do a little clippity doo da. Now you can bring up your level and look, whammo. Okay? So now you can almost make a pure square wave out of a sine wave, which would result in a lot of cool grind and distortion when you're playing your guitar at low power. Hasn't been done, except by D-Lab. So can we hear it work? Why would you want that? <laughs> Kill it. All right, well, you asked for it because you know I can't play stinking guitar. That's why I try to just show things with the audio generator. That's a no-brainer for me. However, here's a guitar. I've got it hooked to the Clipperton, all right? So if we're all the way clockwise, we'd get a nice, pure tone. Except it's out of tune, okay? We know that, all right? Now, if I were to bring my clipping back. Well, that was nice, okay? We start hearing some clipping. Hear that? Okay, now watch when I really get to go. Pretty wild. It's kind of like a monster caught in a prison and he's like banging on the bars, right? Anyway, what it is, it's variable clipping, so you can go from clean to extremely clipped. Now, of course, when you clip, you lose power. But it gives you a super cool sound. And you can only get that sound from a 6AL5. And you know what? There's a huge shortage in the world of 6AL5 tubes. Did you know that? You know, that sounds so good. Imagine how it would sound with somebody who can play. But yeah, 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 but that's not what I was asking you. 6AL5s, they're really hard to get, aren't they? No. <laughs> how many do we have? A lot. Yeah, like 200. A lot. Yeah, a lot of them. So if you decide that you want to build one of these Clipperton amps, the addition of that tube is like a quarter. So it's a great way to add a cool effect to a little tube amp. And that's what D-Lab's gonna do. That's my mission. So imagine how good that would sound with somebody who can play guitar. Why do you keep saying that? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you Making what. Making a point. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's do another video where we'll get somebody over here who knows how to play so these guys can hear what the Clipper 10 really sounds like. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, we'll break it at that. Hope you guys liked it. See you guys.